right, today is going to be a relatively quick inspection. Judging by the comments on the last video, I think I was jumping the gun there with the splits. So today I'm just gonna go in and see what's going on. And I do want to check to see if any of those swarm cells or queen cups or anything are further developed from a week ago. All right, so I took everybody's advice last week and I came up and I fed the new package. They have a lot of brand new bees in there, some new bees that are not foraging yet. So even if there is a flow on, they're not getting any, any nectar. So I gave them a gallon of syrup. Let's see what they are taking. Whoa, probably half, a lot of new bees. So impressed with this hive. Storing nectar on the outside, cap and honey. Look at that pollen. Gorgeous. Beautiful brood pattern. Hatched out brood. Lots of great larva, big fat larva. All right, I think the queen is up in the top box. Wow, that is a full brood frame. It's beautiful. Definitely some drones in here. And there's the queen. Right in the middle of the hive. Middle of the frame, middle of the hive. She's looking for a place to lay, and this is a totally uh, full frame up here. All right, queen is right at the top, right in the middle here. Yeah, this is all larva up here. All right, all right, I got another drawn frame right here. This is totally empty. Uh, I'm gonna put this up here right next to where the queen is. So I'm gonna give her an empty frame right next to where she is hovering. Here you go. Boom. Brand new empty frame. Okay, have fun. All right, Balboa. Okay, Balboa's daughter. What are you up to? That is all nectar. And that is all foraged. Capping honey? All right, this is full of larva. Up at the top, wow, eggs and larva. And there she is. She's right up here at the bottom of the frame. On the screen will be the top. She's got her attendants hanging out. There's some larva, look at that larva. Eggs all over this frame. Just a pattern of eggs and nectar, larva all over. See, this right here is a frame I would put into a nuke. Still not like building out the comb though. All right, bees, you need to start, you need to start drawing out some comb. I'd really like to see them with a few more frames of, uh, of brood here before I start splitting. Four em totally empty frames undrawn. Looking good, but I need more. See if there's any eggs today. There were no eggs a week ago. Nectar. All right, Queen was right up here last week. She was right on this frame, which was a pollen frame last week. And she was hanging out on a pollen frame. That is a, uh, there she is. She is on a pollen frame exactly where she was a week ago, dipping into cells. What are you doing, Queen? This side is empty. She's not moved. Well, she might have moved, but she's right where she was one week ago. This is like a repeat of last spring. Just tons of uh, capped brood, but just no new eggs. Ah, there we go. Tiny larva. Okay, she was over here a few days ago. Tiny, tiny little larva. And big fat larva. All right, she's making her way around the hive. That's a nectar pollen frame. All right, well, she's been active recently because there's some very very young larva but overall not so much and she's hanging out on a pollen frame she's at the bottom of the frame oh she's over here now yeah this is where you want to be over here on a frame filled with empty cells what is she doing it's a frame full of empty cells all right 
I must say we have had some really cold nights in the last week. The, uh, the dandelions are in full burst right now. The apple trees are winding down and uh, I don't know, I, I don't know exactly what's in bloom right now, but I know the dandelions are in full force. So things are looking good. Uh, I, taking a lot of your comments, um, I think I'm, I'm just a little too early thinking about splits. So that's about it for this week. And uh, I got more stuff coming down the line here, but uh, kind of a quick uh, bee update this week. So thanks for watching and we will see you soon for splits.